the answer. And this is the sign by which you shall know that it is I who have sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you are to offer worship to God on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. So Psalm. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord is compassion and love. My soul give thanks to the Lord. All my being bless His holy name. My soul give thanks to the Lord and never forget all His blessings. Response. The Lord, the Lord is compassion and love. It is He who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known His ways to Moses and His deeds to Israel's sons. Response. The Lord is compassion and love. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father. Just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. There was once a very devout woman and this woman had bought a Bible but she was afraid of her husband because her husband did not believe in God. Not just that, he was quite against the concept of God. So in fear she read this Bible daily and this Bible reading was done in his absence when her husband was not there and she used to hide it away so that he doesn't see this Bible. One day she forgot to hide this Bible. Her husband saw it. He did not know what it was. He opened it and he read a few lines. His wife was trembling, trembling in fear and stunned also. Because her husband said, it seems to be a good book. And every night he used to ask for this so-called book to read a few lines. Weeks later, the husband suggested that they wanted to meet, he wanted to meet her parents. Now you must know, they never met her parents after their marriage. It was quite many years that they stayed away from her parents, no visits, etc. Yet, the husband now, after reading, has undergone that change. 
we can see a miracle taking place here. A miracle wherein a woman's persistent faith, first of all, has been rewarded. A continuous faith, although her husband would not believe, although her husband was away from the church, away from God, yet she never gave up. You see, after reading the word also, word of God, the man's hard heart melted. And you see also when they go to the parents of the wife, a relationship is restored. That's the power of the word of God. It works in unexpected ways, in ways we least expect. It transforms places, our homes, our lives, and it bears fruit. Wherever the word of God is, there is where it bears fruit. Are we ready to be faithful to the word of God everywhere or at any time? Can we be also inspired by the word of God? Can we make also certain changes in our lives? Do we have good deeds done? Can we show honesty and truthfulness? Can we take good initiatives? Say kind words? Do loving actions? Help? Cooperate? Have a forgiving smile? We pray that we grow in this experience of the power of the Word of God. This Word of God, as the Gospel says, is revealed to ordinary people, to people who say, yes, they want to receive this Word of God. And the results are multifold, such as, as I told you, it works in ways we least expect. It will transform our lives, our places of work, wherever we are. And finally we pray that it bears fruit so that the fruit is in plenty. Amen.
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray joy with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Blessed are those 
those called the supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 